After many months of waiting, the Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC is finally out. And it's just beautiful. Hard. But very beautiful. So sit back and enjoy part 1 of probably 2 as I suffer through the Elden Ring DLC. Starting off in the DLC, my first stop was at the Graveside Plains. Obviously, by seeing the fire giant in the background, my stupid brain decided that it would be a great idea to go kill it. And I'm quite surprised, but it was actually a good idea, as I got my first mini boss kill of the DLC after only two tries. Get to the head, get to the head. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah! After killing the giant furnace, I went to explore the starting area a bit more, and I found a scattered tree fragment which is a new item exclusive to the DLC who lets you take way less damage and most importantly, make more damage. As the playthrough continues, this will be the new way to get stronger inside of the DLC. There is also another item called the Revered Spirit Ashes, which are the same thing as the Scatter Tree Fragments, just for Spirit Ashes. Anyways, continuing in the DLC, I found myself in a super cool and elaborated dungeon which truly shows how much love Miyazaki put into the DLC. In this dungeon, I killed the Demai human swordsman Ons, and then I found his summon, which I never used. After the dungeon, I went back into exploring the Graveside Plains, and found the Blackened Blades and Castle Ensis. After exploring the castle, I found the Milady, a very cool sword with fancy moveset, which ended up being my main weapon. Obviously I upgraded it to plus 25 and put this lightning ash of war on it. And after a short while in Castle Ensis, I found the one, the only, Ronala. I would only be lying if I told that Rolana was not the hardest boss for me in the whole entire DLC. I don't know why, but this singular boss took me over 3 goddamn hours with probably over 100 deaths. This boss was so hard for me and I don't know why, maybe because I was only level 106 but mostly because of some serious skill issue on my part. But finally, after many tries and hours of me just bashing my head on this boss, and most importantly, my friend Sloop reminding me of my serious skill issue, I finally beat it her. I hope we fail. Alright. We're gonna fail. After the pain in the ass I was Rolana, I went to the other legacy dungeon who made me fight this guy. It was kinda hard but only took me th around 30 minutes and from his dead corpse I got his head which would be part of my armor for the rest of the DLC as I personally think it looks really really cool. I did one of the elevator that was right after the boss but sadly the way was blocked by, by the roots of some kind of tree which I apparently had to go burn down in a later area. With that in mind, I left for the next area. Now I would not be lying if I told you that Mesmer which was the boss where my friend was stuck at made him complain so much that I have around 2 goddamn hours of him just whining about it. So was this Mesmer guy gonna be this hard? Was he really gonna be harder than Rolana? Those were all questions I was asking myself, but no time to think, as I had the next boss on the list, the Golden Hippo. This creature was definitely special, but luckily after a few tries I killed him. Now two things, one I find him really cute and I don't know why, and two, for the last 3 or 4 bosses I did not spend their runes, and stayed at level 106. Now I know I'm a complete idiot and according to Sloop who was still complaining, I was indeed a moron. As the first day of the Actually. DLC was ending, I just decided that I was at least gonna go to the Mesmer guy, and yeah, really nothing there. As the stream of day 2 started, I found myself a bit scared and excited that Mesmer, the boss that slew for it to be harder than Melania. So with impatience, I went into the boss fight and got promptly destroyed in the first few attempts. So I went back to the open world in order to find some more scattered tree fragments and, and since I learned that Mesmer was weak to blood damage, I changed the Ash of War on my weapon and, and to be honest, the guy took me around 10 minutes and I still think Rolando was harder. With Mesmer killed, I finally had a way to show me where to go, and so I went there and fought this centipede scorpion lady rothing and killed her after only a few tries. With all of this, I was finally able to burn down the tree and discover a near Illum. Stay tuned to find out what happened in part 2 because apparently there's, there is one boss that even Sloop, my friend, cried about for even longer than Mesmer, and its name is Commander 